Time to shine today, Podcast Varsity Squad. This is Scott Ferguson, and I got something that I'm not very educated in, but I am super interested in because I've watched YouTube videos about tapping. Tap, tap, tap it in if you're a fan of the uh, Happy Gilmore movie. Uh, but my good friend Brad Yates from the Yates Empowerment Strategies is an internationally known for his creative uses of EFT and tapping and has over 1,000 YouTube videos. Don't go there now. I think he's coming up on like 240,000 subscribers, which is just absolutely amazing. And he's also the author of a best-selling children's book, The Wizard's Wish, a featured expert in the film The Tapping Solution, and a presenter at numerous events, including Jack Canfield's Breakthrough to Success. This guy is a baller, a shot caller. I'm absolutely blessed to have him on. And Brad, please introduce yourself to Time to Shine today, Podcast Varsity Squad. But first, what's your favorite color and why? Oh, man, that wasn't on the prep work. No, there's <laughs> nothing on that prep work, brother. <laughs> Oh, you know, it fluctuates. Sometimes okay. it's green, sometimes it's burgundy, sometimes it's teal. Okay. Okay. I love Those it. my favorites. I like teal on you. I think teal's in your good color wheel there, brother. You're Thank handsome you. W. So oh, go on. <laughs> <laughs> no, let's... really. Go on, Scotty. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. So let, let's get into because not everybody just grows up saying, I'm gonna be a tapping <laughs> professional. You know what I'm saying? When they say that, they're like, oh, tap dancer or whatnot. And yeah. I just have to tell you that I, not your video, but before I get introduced to you by our good friend, Amanda Rose, um, I watched a video with, I think it was Toad the Wet Sprocket. It was a band. And the the, the leader of the band, the, the lead singer, showed how he tapped himself to sleep because of his uh, grind on the road and, and whatnot. And I just, well, I'm like, that is amazing. I just haven't had the patience to sit down and really dig into it myself. So yeah. let's get to the origins of like, you know, maybe your earlier years a little bit, Brad, and then kind of move into, you know, how you're an EFT and, and, and tapping, tapping internationally known person. How far back do you want to go? As far as you're comfortable. <laughs> you know our time frame. We I was born in, Am <laughs> in I was born in Anaheim, and I used to have dreams that I was born underwater on the submarine ride at Disneyland. And... Uh, <laughs> Years later, went back and worked at Disneyland. Um, but I, uh, I started out as an actor and had got my degree in acting, traveled the world doing theater, and went to Hollywood to become a movie star. And then I met a woman, got married. And um, when our first child was on the way, I thought I should probably have a backup career. <laughs> and so I, instead of getting a, a steady nine to five job, I trained to become a hypnotherapist because I'd always been fascinated by the power of the mind and started doing that back and forth with the, uh, with the acting. And then after a couple of years, when our second child was on the way, I realized as much as I loved acting, personal development work was really my calling. Mm. This is what really, uh, really felt right for me. And we left LA and through some other hypnotherapists, I heard about this tapping thing and went to Las Vegas, took a workshop with the founder of EFT, Gary Craig. And it was like, wow, this is really interesting and started introducing it little by little into my hypnotherapy sessions until little by little they became tapping sessions with a little bit of hypnosis at the end. Can you get into the, the EFT part of it? Yeah. So emotional freedom techniques, EFT, okay. uh, which a lot of us just called tapping, is a simple process of tapping with our fingertips on these key points, primarily on the face and torso. And I know if people are new to this, you're thinking, what the heck is yeah. he on here? Um, it's based on acupuncture originally. So hmm. for thousands of years in Chinese medicine, they said there's this flow of energy through the body along these pathways called meridians. And when you stimulate these uh, points in Chinese medicine, they use needles and stick it in there to stimulate that healthy flow of energy. Hmm. And this uh, another psychologist named Roger Callahan determined that you could just tap these points with your fingertips and get all this benefit from calming down the nervous system. And we have a growing body of scientific evidence validating that it's a profound tool for down-regulating stress. And when you consider that stress either causes or worsens most, if not all of our issues, then having a simple technique for calming down the stress response is profoundly powerful in uh, all kinds of areas of our lives. I love including it. Including our entrepreneurial endeavors. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Do you find that you blend the tapping with other breathing techniques or is it 
uh, like as part of your kind of personal arsenal to, I mean, you're pretty well put together. You're, you do well, but it, it, you found that it just blends well with other uh, lifestyles that people live to level up. Absolutely. It's what I love about it is such a complementary therapy to whatever other people, what other um, modalities people might be using. Uh, and because it's so simple. And, and the great thing about it is that it's, it doesn't take any thought to do it. Now, in my videos, I use all kinds of words to try to bring up what might be holding people back and try to, you know, figure out where the blocks are. But if you're in a place of stress, you don't need to say anything. So it's not like, you know, if you're if you're in a stressful situation, like you have a presentation and you've just found out that the audio system has gone out and you're stressing out, it'd be very hard to say, you know what, sit down and meditate for a few minutes. Right. <laughs> yeah. Unless you've been practicing for 30 years. Um, but but this is a, a very simple thing that that requires no no thought and it will start to calm down the nervous system. And then you can integrate it with all kinds of. Uh, affirmations with prayers Ooh, yeah. with CBT with all kinds of different um, processes to and what it does is it calms down the stress that comes up when we try to make changes when we're looking to make you know if we're trying to be more successful in our business a lot of us have blocks that we don't know about about why we couldn't or shouldn't be successful why we couldn't or shouldn't be wealthier mm. so when we sit there and think about oh I have this goal of making this amount of money this month and at a conscious level going, yeah, and I'm going to kill it and I'm going to do this. Right. And unconsciously we're thinking, yeah, but then all of our friends will be jealous and our parents are going to be asking us for a handout wow. and, and all this stuff. So that stress response shuts us down. And we find ourselves, oh, I forgot to make that phone call or I showed up late to that interview and made mm. a bad impression or uh, I just didn't get stuff done today or I and I and I'm also off my exercise routine and I'm not feeling physically well, which throws me off which is all brilliant. Self-sabotage is simply misguided self-love based on beliefs about how we need to take care of ourselves because we have that stress response when we try to make changes. So, hey, if only there was something we could do to calm down that stress response and then sure. we're talking about our goals, it's like, oh yeah, I can do that. It's okay for me to have that level of success. Well, so uh, have you found that the when you tap certain areas that it actually defers to other areas to work meaning if you're just tapping on the head you're really calm the stress do you find that it works to other parts of the extremities the body to calm that as well yeah i mean the whole system is so interrelated you know, it's like if you've ever seen a reflexology chart and they'll show the foot and it's got all of these nerve endings sure. down there but things are so interrelated so in the practice of EFT, there's eight points that we use along okay. these eight, uh, eight major meridians. But there are times that I may just tap one point and that's all I feel I need. So okay. the different meridians are related to different organs of the body, which tend to be related to different emotions. And you might get some people who argue about, well, this meridian actually goes to this organ, to this emotion. Sure. I don't worry about that too much. That's the whole point of okay. uh, the original version of, of tapping was you would identify which two or three points to use. EFT was a simplification in terms of we're just going to use all of these eight points and sure. cover all the bases, whether we need it or not. Gotcha. And that's emotional freedom technique. That's the EFT yeah. is. Okay, beautiful. So when you're maybe starting to work with somebody and they've been referred to you, I'd be like, hey, you got to go talk, to, you know, if I was like, hey, Brad Yacy's really helped me level up and and get over my, you know, because you, like you said, like, you know, you're afraid to make money. A lot of people are afraid to do that because the theory of relativity comes, you get money, everyone's your relative, right? And you're afraid <laughs> of that kind of stuff <laughs> happening to you. So when you refer to you, th there's got to be kind of a coaching aspect to it also to help them find their blind spots, if you will, for lack of better terms, um, yeah. to help them find the technique for you to tap. So is there a, a way that you are part of your protocol or secret sauce, if you don't mind sharing, Brad, to help them find that blind spot before we get into the, the cool therapy of tapping? Yeah. yeah, and what I'll ask folks to do is first say, what is it that you want? Maybe I'll have them describe their ideal life. Mm. And uh, I'll have them close their eyes, take a deep breath, and imagine your ideal life. So if, you know, Figure out on a scale of zero to 10, if 10 was, I'm just, you know, having the most amazing life. Yeah. What does that look like? 
and then I'll have them just sit there and, and imagine it and notice what's going on in their body. And if people are really paying attention, they'll start to go, wow, I'm so excited. I'm, yeah, but I get this tightness in my neck or I get this knot yeah. in my stomach. It's like, great. Now we can see where the resistance is. Or I'll say, okay, now think of a specific action you could take. You know, is it somebody you need to reach out to? Is it developing a course? Is it writing a book? See yourself taking that action that would move you in the direction of a 10. Mm. And again, following your breath through your body and just noticing what's going on in there. See how committed you feel to that. Right. I, and, and, and so sometimes I'll challenge them and say, okay, tell me you're going to do it tomorrow. Because <laughs> they'll say, oh, yeah, I can do it. Tell me you're going to do it tomorrow. Okay. And then they get the knot in the stomach or whatever. It's like, mm. great. Now we see where the resistance is. We may know, they may know, oh, I'm afraid that I'll get it wrong. I'm afraid of being seen. They may have a specific memory of why that is, or they may just say, I, I don't know what it is, but I just get a knot in my stomach. And I'll say, great, let's just start there. We'll start tapping, even though I have this knot in my stomach and we'll start to calm that down. And one of the great things is with the tapping, it's often like peeling the layers of the onion and Ooh. stuff that we weren't aware of consciously starts to come up. You know, I can be really mad at uh, somebody. It's like, oh, I'm so mad at Bob for this thing that he did. And I'll be tapping along. It's like all this anger at Bob, all this. Ang oh, it's not even Bob. It's Cindy in the third grade. She took away my favorite toy. And I <laughs> and, and what Bob did reminded me of that. And I've been carrying this anger about Cindy for decades mm. and not even realizing it. And there could be all kinds of areas of my life where that has stopped me and limited my success wow. and my happiness. So now we're able to clear out decades of uncomfortable energy wow. and have a new level of freedom. And I, I call it the freedom to succeed. Wow. So you're saying clear out decades with freedom to succeed. I love that. So with you, maybe you're still kind of in a discovery session with somebody talking about tapping, seeing if it's right for them. Is there any good question that you wish they would ask you, but never do? Um, there's a lot of people are going to be, uh, you and I both know that they, they, they might be skeptical, of course, at first. I'd be like, dude, how can I tap in it? Freaking works. I'm, you know, right. you, you're a believer in it, it works. I know people that do it now since I've met you, yeah, you know, and it works. But like, is there any question that you're like, man, instead of really the skeptical shit, man, can you t ask me a question <laughs> that makes sense? You know, fortunately, because I have so much content on YouTube. By the time someone comes to me and says, I'm, I'm ready to pay your fee and, and work Love with you it. individually. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they all, no, that's cool. That's, that's, I, I'm, I'm fortunate enough that I don't have to do much explaining. They've already, they Beautiful. may have spent hours tapping with me. I was hoping you were going to say that because the content you put out is, is absolutely amazing. Is it, have you ever seen or noticed your, the, the tapping have a detrimental effect on somebody that you had to work through? multiple sessions to get them to where they need to be? Or do you see that it works pretty much right? Because and the only reason why I say this is because I tried EMDR for one time the, mm -hmm. and I held these paddles in my hand and I remember I did it and we went deep. It was like a CBTI kind of thing for insomnia mm -hmm. kind of thing. Right. Yeah. And it made it worse, dude. I couldn't sleep for like a month and a half. It was yeah. the worst January of 2022 I've ever had. Um, have you ever had any detrimental effects from tapping or where maybe you opened up a wormhole, of lack of a better term? <laughs> did, did they get somewhere that you really have to dig deep with them? It, what happens when we're, when we're, it's not the tapping so much as okay. when we're, when we're exploring something. Okay. So I'll, I'll say to someone, you know, when we're tapping, the, sometimes the results are gradual. Sometimes they're very rapid mm -hmm. in calming down the stress. There are a few times where it seems to be more stressful, but it's mm -hmm. not the tapping that does it. So I'll say it's like if you're going to um, if you're having company over and you look at your living room and go, I, you know, on a scale of zero to 10, how dirty is it? Well, it's it's maybe a two, but right. I like these people. So I really want to clean it up. And so I start <laughs> cleaning it up and I notice there's dirty laundry under the sofa. Uh, well, now it's dirty at a level of six. And I wouldn't say 
I shouldn't have cleaned my room. Cleaning obviously made it dirtier because it was, <laughs> you know, it went up to a six when I started cleaning. So it's not the tapping that does it, but it's paying attention. So good. Yeah. And the tapping and, and it, and it's, it's great because it's like, okay, now we're aware that now we're consciously aware of that stuff. Now we can clean it out. Now I can get that dirty laundry out from under the sofa and my room really will be clean instead of me thinking it's clean. Wow. EMDR is a powerful tool. But it does, there is a, you know, the possibility of those ab reaction. That's why, you know, you have to be a, a licensed therapist to, to use it and go mm -hmm. through all this. EFT is a much more gentle process. Okay. Love it. I love that. that that's perfect how you answered that, man. Because it's, uh, it, it really got me educated just in, in what you said. And I love that, it's, it, that it is more gentle. It's a gentle art. Um, to, yeah. to leveling up. That, that's beautiful. Brad, have you seen the movie Back to the Future? <laughs> a couple times. <laughs> I, I was just going to say, with uh, yeah, we're probably <laughs> right around the same age, you know. So, okay, so let's get that that DeLorean with Martin McFly. Okay, let's go back to the double deuce, the 22-year-old Brad. Is there any knowledge nuggets that you might drop on him? That's what we call him here at Time to Shine Day. But not so much to change anything because your life's been good, man. You, you, you've had a great life. That's but, always the thing when someone says, if you could go back and change them, it's like, I don't know. My life is so great right now. I, how like, about, you there know, were maybe, definitely bumpy times, with, but. Uh, with what you know now, though, to maybe help them shorten the learning curve or blast through maybe just a little bit quicker. Well, I wish I had known EFT back <laughs> because yeah. I didn't. There were places where I was ha had fear that stopped me that I didn't know about. Now, the, the catch is that it, back then I was an actor, and if I'd cleared up the fear, I might have had more success as an actor, and I might not have found this. And and I love what I do so much. It's like I look at, you know, other actors, and I go, there is no one out there who I envy and think, oh, man, if only I'd. Yeah. <laughs> like, I feel so blessed to get to do what I do. So, but, um, but there are some things where, uh, you know, I might have... Um, made some better choices if, yeah. I had, if I had not had the stress that directed some of my choices. Oh, you can't, I can't even imagine the rejection and, and the stress. I mean, I can't imagine it just because I, <laughs> I've worked in high end luxury real estate forever and I get told no, or go jump in the lake or even more worse words than that. So I get it. <laughs> uh, but just being an actor and walking in and you're just ego is just there yeah. bare you know, yeah. auditioning. I, not to say I've ever did it. I'm into this new improv thing now, getting on stage to help me level up, you know. Very cool. But it's a, uh, it, it's fine. I thank you for being transparent with that. How about your dash, man? How do you want your dash remembered? That little line in between your incarnation date and your expiration date, your life date and death date. How do you want your dash remembered, Brad? You know, when we had kids, we, well, we still have kids, but when they were little, we had them watch Tom's the Tank Engine. And in Tom's the Tank Engine, the, the biggest compliment the controller gives the engine is, you were, you're a really useful engine. So I want the dash to be, he was useful. Love it. Love it. That's beautiful. Beautiful. How about, what do you think people misunderstand the most about Brad? Ah. Uh, I'm sorry. Did you Why study the questions? Because I don't think any of these are on. I'm no, none of these. No, I was flying. sweating over all of the questions, and then <laughs> now you have answered. You know, improv, improv. Okay, okay. <laughs> Just why does he tap on his face? <laughs> Dude, this is awesome. nervous tick that he has. <laughs> He's at the airport. He's like, this. <laughs> that's awesome. I did, I did. <laughs> How about if you, what is your biggest victory with somebody? Not sharing names, obviously, but maybe a situation that they're in that tapping really got them leveled up and, you know, like just say maybe like fear of flying or, or, or something like that, but maybe even bigger. What is the one that stands out? You're like, hell yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, there's, there's, there's moments in all kinds of uh, areas of life, you know, people with upsetting events from their past, thing, things that have happened that, you know, maybe 20 years and it still makes them cry when they think about it. Sure. And, and sometimes in a, in a short while, they're laughing about it. Right. And it's like... <laughs> Yeah, I can't believe I was upset about that. What that, you know, that other person was such a dork or whatever. Right. Um, there's financial things where people have breakthroughs. I, I had a client who ran a, a business and she said, yeah, every so often my team will say, you need to do another session with Brad because every time you do, we all make more money. <laughs> Love it. 
That's uh, awesome, dude. Yeah. <laughs> that is huge. Be like getting everybody on board with that. That's, yeah. that's awesome. So how about uh, anything keep Brad up at night? You seem you know, so chill. You, you remind me of like my girl Susan a little bit, like how like your demeanor, like she's just chill. Like I, I timed her falling asleep. It's like eight seconds, dude. It's like she's out. Like, is yeah. there anything that really kind of ramps up the, in your brain and keeps you going? And well, there, you know, there are times where I, sure. I, I look at people doing harm, and I, and it's frustrating that to see what what people are doing out there and you know i'll i'll find myself getting uh into uh, some self-righteous indignation and then i'll <laughs> tap and then i'll remember okay they're doing the best they can yeah. and they they're working through some stuff yeah. and unfortunately they're in a position that their their trauma or or whatever is coming out and hurting others and all i can do is try to reach more people with this work help more people set themselves free to to do better feel better do better live better and that'll counteract that and hopefully maybe even that person That's will awesome. see one of my videos and go oh i need to knock this off <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> no, that, that's that, that, that's you are like so honest and transparent that, you know, you you're bringing up your not losses, but your learning experiences along with your victories. That's beautiful. So what is Brad's definition of a life well lived? You know, it's that it's having a good time and being of service, <laughs> you know, yeah. we, and it's I, I it. I definitely feel we're here to be of service to to make the world a better place in the ways that we can, but not at the level where it's self sacrificing and, and I never get to have fun. <laughs> so right. it's allowing ourselves to in, in, you know in, enjoy our life. That's why I, I'm blessed. I mean, I love yeah. what I do so much. That's uh, awesome. So it's I, I get I get the two for one. <laughs> I'm going to hang this on you because this is how I feel about you. I think that you live your life from just the 20 minutes we've been talking, like. With, with options and not so much obligations. You know, I think that you free up so much in your mind, if you will. And I'm not, if I'm wrong, tell me, but you just seem like you have a lot of like options. You stay open to things uh, instead of just feeling obligated to things because you love what you do, you know, and you're really freaking good at it. And, and oh, thank nice. you for that. And, and, and squad, we are going to take my good friend, Brad Yates, through our leveling up lightning round just as soon as we get back from thanking our sponsors and affiliates. Time to shine today, Podcast Varsity Squad. We are back with Brad Yates, uh, the, the tapper man, the tapping and EFT, emotional freedom technique. And Brad, I, I cannot wait to meet you like in the flesh and in, in, in person. And I'm just thinking of like 10 or 12 people around here. I just want to get together and fly you out to South Florida and and and, and have you take us through a nice weekend. I, that's just like my stirring. I've been writing down names literally while we're talking. But it, <laughs> I'm there. When, I'm when there. we meet... <laughs> We'll talk 15, 20 minutes about each one of these questions. But today, you have five seconds All with right. no explanation. You ready? You need a tap for a bit? No, I'm, I'm, I'm ready, Scotty. Go for All it. Right. Here we go. Brad, what is the best leveling up advice you've ever received? Uh, that you can't give away too much free content. Ooh, love that. Share one of your personal habits that contributes to your success. Other than tapping. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> you caught me. Um, you know, having a having a morning routine, knowing what I'm going to do first thing in the morning with in terms of exercising, journaling, Beautiful. things like that. Beautiful. Now, I know you're really in, like myself in the personal development and, and whatnot. And if you saw me kind of walking down the street and you're like, oh, Fergie looks in his doldrums a little bit. Like, what book might you hand me? My all-time favorite book is a book called Illusions by Richard Bach. Same guy who wrote Jonathan Livingston Siegel. Okay. Uh, my dad gave it to me when I was 15, said, I think you're ready for this. And okay. uh, several of my friends from The Secret, Joe Vitale, Mike Dooley, Bob Doyle, have all said, that's one of the books that first got me started as well. Okay, beautiful. I'm de I, I feel terrible. I've never read it. I'm going to get into that. <laughs> Don't awesome. feel terrible, Scott. It doesn't serve anybody. <laughs> no, it doesn't. It does. I really don't. I just want to say it for the squad out there. <laughs> so what is your most commonly used emoji when you text? Oh, prob <laughs> probably. 
probably the winky emoji and uh and my kids laugh if they give, they give me a hard time but they said dad you shouldn't use that emoji but it just beautiful because, because they think it means something else but <laughs> yeah <laughs> nicknames growing up oh they called me Yater's Taters. Somebody came up with that and all through high school. And, the, and then it got, it, it was, yeah, it was weird. Chess, checkers, or Monopoly? <sighs> Chess. Awesome. Go to ice cream flavor. Rocky Road or fish food. Okay, I've never had that. I'll, I'll break my rule here. What's fish food? It's a Ben and Jerry's. It's uh, got these little chocolate fish that have caramel oh, in them. It's, you, uh, oh, you can't go wrong. Yeah, no, it sounds like kind of like the turtle <laughs> stuff. Love it. There's a there's a sandwich named the Yaters Taters. Build that sandwich for me. <laughs> oh, definitely roast beef. Um, my man. All right. That was uh, that was my go to sandwich uh, forever. Um, although, you know, I'm also a big grilled cheese fan too. All so. right, dude, dude. Awesome. <laughs> so favorite charity and organization you like to give your time or money to? Uh, Feeding America, okay. uh, is, is one that I have a lot of my YouTube channels, uh, videos go to. Yeah. Um, and there's one, um, Unstoppable Foundation, Cynthia Kersey's organization that, does amazing work in Africa, builds schools, but also creates the infrastructure so that the kids can actually go to the schools Love and, it, and supports it. So. Love it. Hey, Donnie, get that in the show notes. Awesome. Thanks. Last question. You can elaborate even more on this one, Brad, but what is the best decade of music? 60s, 70s, 80s, or 90s? Oh, Probably going to go with the the seventies, with you know, with a little bit into the sixties and to the uh, the eighties. But you know, there's huge Bowie fan, and oh, okay. that's uh, that's where so much of uh, his his best stuff. Was. I got to meet him as a kid, man. It was awesome. My dad worked tons of security, and so I got to meet all of them in like Detroit area. Tapping like, on my envy. Like, there you go. Get out <laughs> that was envy. that was a that was a lifelong goal, yeah. and unfortunately, I didn't uh, know didn't who happen. I was meeting. I was like, "Why is that guy have makeup on, dude? What's up, yeah. man? He doesn't look like Kiss. Kiss has yeah. cool makeup, you know." So it was like that's how my thought. But I get it, man. Ziggy in Bowie. That's that, that's amazing. So, Brad, how can we find you, my friend? Uh, easiest way is at tapwithbrad.com. Uh, but you can also, as you said, I have over a thousand videos on YouTube. Uh, go into YouTube and put in tap with Brad or tapping. And one of my videos will probably come up. I have a lot of great colleagues who have a lot of um, great videos out there too, but you'll, mine will probably come up as well. Beautiful. And, and you, um, you have a, a awesome course that you launched mid year um, that we yeah. that I definitely want to get there. It's tap into money. Tap into money. Yeah. We kept coming up with, tr trying to come up with all kinds of clever names, but it's just like, no, this is just it is yeah. tap into money because we have so much, resistance to to money yeah. most people have resistance that they just don't know about and so it was we thought okay let's let's create a course that really helps people identify the reasons why they think they shouldn't have it and clear that crap out so that you can experience the abundance that's possible and mm. and that creates more opportunities for you to share your gifts and talents with the world is that on your website brad that is on my website beautiful if i i just you know being a coach and blessed to you know, I have the clientele that I get to help level up. It, it's, it, it's like, I know that everybody, and you can agree with this, they know what they really kind of want. They just don't know how to talk themselves into it. And I just really feel that tapping can add to the repertoire to yeah. open that up and let stuff in. And yeah. it, this has been just, you know, such a pleasure talking to you about your passion and if you could just do me one last salad and leave us one last knowledge nugget, we can kind of take with us and turn our eyes and take action. Yeah. Well, it's something what you just said there about, you know, they, they just don't know how to talk themselves into it. Mm. And it's because most people don't know how they're talking themselves out of it. <laughs> oh my and, God. And my, my one go-to is final words is teaching people to love themselves. And it's looking at why do you talk yourself out of, loving yourself why do you talk yourself out of treating yourself well and whatever those reasons are please tap those away <laughs> clear wow. that stuff out because they're misunderstandings because 
you're a magnificent shadow of the universe. You're worthy and deserving of the best this world has to offer. And you have gifts and talents to share with the world. Please and thank you. I love it. I love it. And squad, we have just had an entertaining but also educational masterclass with my good friend, Brad, Brad Gates. And, you know, he started really kind of as an actor in theater. But then he had this thing called a baby. And he said, man, I, I better get like a backup plan. And whatnot. And he was fascinated always by the power of his power of the mind and personal development. And so he really gravitated to the EFT, the emotional freedom technique. And and with that, with the tapping, there's eight major meridians that Brad kind of just tapped onto. Uh, But you really want to get deep into it. Go to his YouTube channel or let me make a personal introduction to to Brad. He, He reminds us that you know, tapping will help calm down the nervous systems and and tool down and regulate stress. You know, it, it can be a complementary therapy, if you will, to other things that you're doing. Like myself, I'm in jujitsu and I'm always speaking and in, in, in traveling and stuff. Tapping can really even add to my lifestyle to help me open up and level up any more, even more. You know, don't look at it and get. Like, oh my gosh, am I, am I doing it right? Am I doing it right? Like, don't get info overload on that. Yeah. You know, tapping, as Brad reminded us, is simple. You just need to know the protocol. And that's where Brad can get you. you know, he reminded us that self-sabotage is really misguided love. And I that, that just really hit home with me. You know, our stress response slows us down. And tapping can be a really nice reminder to, like, slow down maybe even more and then work to level up okay and tapping peels kind of the layers like an onion tapping and eft can peel the layers like like an onion and things can come up really from your past that you didn't really know were bothering you but tapping can and eft can really help you move through that heal from it and really level up you know he's going to remember it as somebody to me brad's going to remember as someone that's really planting trees He's never going to sit in the shade of, and it's, it's so true in his YouTube channel squad where, you know, he, he's putting out content daily and that content's going to be there forever. And as long as, long as YouTube wants it to be there, but it's going to be there forever. And I'm blessed to have people like Brad that are doing that it is, you know, he believes that he's going to be someone really of good service. And I am a coach and I'm always saying, you know, people know what they want. You know, they just don't know how to, talk themselves into it. And Brad just knowledge bomb on me. They really need to know how they're talking themselves out of it as well. And that's something I'm going to start reverse engineering and adding to my repertoire. You know, in he wants you to to love yourself, love others, enjoy what you're doing, live your dream. And that's what my guy Brad does. He levels up his health. He levels up his wealth. He's humble, yet he's hungry. I'm so blessed to be connected to you. you. You earned your varsity letter here, brother, at Time to Shine today. Thank you so much for coming at me, and I absolutely love your guts. Well, thank you so much. I greatly appreciate what you're doing, and I appreciate this opportunity to share this work. Excellent, brother. We'll talk chat soon. Bye now.